It's annoying that TV cables are black, right? You spend hundreds, maybe even over $1,000 on a brand new TV. Then you get home and you have to hack into your walls or buy and install cord covers to hide the ugly, unsightly black cables. Sure, no one cares what color your cables are when they're hidden behind a bulky TV on a stand. But these days, many of us are hanging them like this. And wouldn't it be helpful if your cords were, I don't know, white to match your walls? Let's talk about this situation. White cord versus black cord. And what's the best way to address this nightmare? But first, why are most TV cables black in the first place? There are a couple of reasons, but it really depends on which cords we're talking about. Detachable power cords often have two or three prongs, and they're usually pretty generic. You usually don't even have to think about it because one will come in the box with your TV. And if anything ever goes wrong with it, you can easily find a replacement online or at an electronics retailer. And then there are the power cables that are hardwired to your TV. Those you can't take off. And there are HDMIs, which connect most of your accessories to the TV, but also add to the black cable spaghetti that you see behind your screen. TV manufacturers told me that cables are usually black to match your TV. The back of your TV is black, so the cords are black. End of story. But there are other reasons black cables are a lot more common too. Many aren't even made by TV manufacturers. The cables that connect to your TV for visuals, audio, and power are often made by third-party factories. They focus on churning out versatile and universal cables to sell in high volumes. Black is easier to keep consistent throughout batches compared to most other colors. That's why at least 90% of cables made for consumer electronics end up being black. That's according to Ray Zhang, general manager at the global cable assembly company, LaRome. Experts told me that it doesn't actually cost that much more to turn the PVC wrapping or cable jacket surrounding a cord from black to white. Ray told me that the cost difference equates to less than 1% per cable, depending on the type. But when you're making millions of cords, that slight difference can amount to millions of dollars. It made sense in the beginning. Remember when TVs looked like this? When TVs were big brown and black boxes on your floor, black cables blended in and were virtually invisible. The box was usually up against the wall and designers thought that darker cables would remain cleaner looking if they were up against dirty floors. But as time went on, TVs changed. They went from the floor to console tables to the wall and thus lies the problem. When your TV is up high, but the cord is dangling down low, that's an eyesore, right? Not to mention all the streaming devices, backlighting, or gaming consoles plugged into the back of your TV, resulting in even more black cables dangling from your TV. The TV industry is obviously aware of this. Have you ever noticed how cords are never shown in ads? And some premium TVs have rolled out with partial solutions in the box. Samsung, the world's largest TV maker, created an invisible cable to give you a bit more flexibility. The One Connect cord comes with some of its premium TVs and transmits data and power from the box straight to the TV. The box acts as a hub for all your gaming and audio devices, so none of those connections are actually near the screen. Basically, it cuts down on cord clutter by weaving everything into a single cord. Some companies make white cords to stand out among the crowd and to blend more seamlessly with your white walls. Apple is famous for its white cords, which look amazing coming out of the box, but can get pretty dirty. And cable makers like Acel are stepping in where TV makers have slacked. The company's co-founder, Tenny Sin, says that Acel provides white cable offerings because they blend nicely with white walls. Every other solution is basically up to you. You can either hack into your walls, hire someone to do it, or buy covers and other accessories from Amazon or something. Most TVs have interchangeable power cords and you can buy a replacement in white for about $10. First, check to see what kind of power adapter came with your TV and be sure to match the number of prongs. And check to see if the product description says that it's compatible with your TV. If the cord is really generic, it might not say anything at all, but just keep that in mind. Once you swap that out, what do you do with your old one? You can toss it in the box or the bin with all your other rainy day cables. Do you also dislike black cables or have you found a solution that I didn't talk about in this video? Be sure to comment below and let me know your thoughts. Also subscribe to keep up with my latest. We'll chat soon.